Well, I guess we can start at the end. What was your vantage point on the uh, broken stick goal? Um, I, I got my vision got blocked by Skinny and their goalie. Uh, it was a great play um, by Dolls, and obviously Tomer uh, was wound up and ready to hammer it. And he still got enough, I guess you can say. Uh, and then all I saw was the, the, the goal light go off and Skinny's hands go up and. We're looking back for Tomer because I'm like, no one else touched that puck. And he's at the red line by the time it went in. And he was so mad because his stick had broken. And, um, but no, it was uh, a pretty crazy way to end a pretty uh, insane game, honestly. What was Tage's reaction when he found out he scored? Like he, he had no idea that he scored until we were all together. And he's like, so who scored? We're like, you. Uh, it was pretty, yeah, interesting, to say the least. Alex, what happened in that game from 4 nothing? I mean, what switch went off? Um, honestly, I, I, I thought it was from the start of the second period. I thought we were going. Obviously, they got a, a lucky break and a nice goal on their fourth. Um, but there was no hanging our heads. There was no feeling sorry for herself. There was um, just, hey, you know what? It didn't go our way. Let's just work on just one goal at a time, one shift at a time. That mentality is... Uh, they told, oh. me, they told me to join you. Game winner right here. You got to keep that stick. But uh, no, so just kind of that one shift at a time mentality, uh, I think really helped our group. We'll, we'll get to him in a second. Just one more thing. You get the tying goal. There's two and a half to go roughly. I mean, you had the opportunity in the first period. I mean, how big a, you know, you were changing lines again. How big a lift was that taking off your shoulders to put one in there? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a bit. It's actually been even longer since I think I scored on a goalie. So um, obviously, when it's not going your way, you're just sometimes gripping your stick a little bit more. And uh, you know what? I was just trying to get on that. It's there's it an unbelievable play by Mitzi, uh, just as nice of a pass, if not better, by Oli. I don't know how he saw me. He said he, said he must have heard me or something and put it right on my tape. So it's a great play by both of them. Uh, but yeah, no, that one felt good. Tage, Alex said you were pretty upset that you broke your stick. I was, uh, before I knew it, it went in, I was pretty upset, yeah. It was, uh, it was a good good opportunity there, one timer on a power play, and uh, pretty unfortunate your stick breaks, but not when it goes off the end wall, off the skiing end, so take those bounces. What was that game like to be a part of, I guess, coming back? Uh, it's really fun. Um, I mean, I said in the locker room after, like, we got a really special group. I think people outside the locker room are starting to see it, um, you know, it would have been very easy for us to fold the 10 after the first period and just kind of pack it in and, and give up. But, um, you know, our guys in the, in the room, like, compete for each other. And, um, you know, we take a lot of pride in, in um, you know, the culture we're building and what we want to be in the future. And I think we're, we're trending in the right direction. That game was just a, a product of our work. And, um, you know, it wasn't a pretty game, but uh, good teams find a way to win. And uh, we're on our way to being a really good team. You had no idea that puck. Went in the net, you scored. I was already halfway to the bench, and I heard uh, heard our bench going nuts. So I turned around and saw them chasing me down. So, yeah, I had no clue. That's six games in a row where you guys are tied in the third period. Now, is there a through line through this stretch here that's keeping you in tight games? We really didn't want to go into overtime tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've, uh, you know, early in the season we we've given up a lot of third period leads and um, kind of blown some games. And, um, consistency has been a, a big focus for us and you know good teams are, are consistent night in night out and um, I think that's something we've really focused hard on and um, we've been doing a good job of that lately and I think um, you know even when you don't have it on you know nights like last night and today uh, where it's probably not your best game a little sloppy at times still find a way to get the job done and um, been doing a good job of that. Donnie shuffles the deck a little. What did it mean to you to see Alex get the tying goal there? Oh, it's huge. Tucky works his nuts off every every game, and um, you know for him to get rewarded, he's been snake bit in the past few games, and um, I think everyone can see it on the bench there. Everyone's jumping up and down, so um, you know gives us some life too there at the end, uh, getting a power play and find one off the end wall. So, what's the lesson here that you guys have developed in the last few games? I mean, this game's four nothing. Looks like it's over. None of these games, really, with the exception of Edmonton recently, nothing's ever been over with this club anymore. Well, I think it goes back to that uh, that consistency factor, and then the the group we have. I think we just have a really good group of guys. We're all pulling the same same rope in the same direction. Um, there's no one in there that's uh, got a me first mentality, and it's just uh, 
it's fun to compete for each other. You know, you see one guy jump over the boards, go hard, and you want to follow that up with another good shift. And um, I think we just have a lot of positivity right now. You know, whether they score two, three, the bench doesn't get down. Everyone's picking each other up. And um, I think there's just kind of a bit of, of calm on the bench that we know we're going to fight our way back into it.